Summers, who was so absolutely cute. And he jokingly said, let's do the interview in my hotel room in the bathtub. And I thought, no one's probably ever done that before. I'm going to do it. So I interviewed him in the bathtub. It was pretty tame. I was sitting on the edge of the tub. Well, years later, he came out with this uh, fabulous photography book. And I was working for fashion television at the time. And I thought, wouldn't it be great to interview Andy again about his photography and talk about art and life and all that stuff. And um, I, we called his manager and um, as a joke, I said, <laughs> we could do it in the bathtub again. And he said, yes, okay, he'll do it in the bathtub. And I said, really? And he said, yeah, but this time you have to get into the bathtub with him. So I was like, my mother, when she heard this possibility, totally freaked out and said, you can't, you know, you're a 50 something year old woman. You can't get into the bathtub with a rock star. But wanting to keep in touch with my inner teen, I donned a skimpy little bikini and I bought a huge bottle of Mr. Bubble bath bubbles because I thought I didn't want to see anything weird going on with Andy because he did reveal a little bit of himself uh, all those years ago. <gasps> anyway, um, we ended up uh, in the bathtub together and Andy set these little candles all around the edge of the tub and it was really wonderful and we ordered Cosmos from room service and he lit up a joint and he's like sitting there waxing poetic about life and art and all that fabulous stuff and I'm like sucking it in so no one really see my belly in this uh, little bikini and uh, Andy threw his head back and started laughing at one point and his hair caught on fire and I totally freaked out and I actually had like the microphone I think dropped into the tub. Thank God we didn't get electrocuted because it would have been the end of uh, the police and uh, certainly the end of me.